visa is like a free visa in the sense that when you are lucky to get a job offer with a UK licensed employer, your employer would be the one to fund all of the expenses for you, ranging from your visa fee to your flight fare to even prove a phone, they will be the one to do everything for you. And most- Hi guys, welcome to Next Step with Cherry. So today is a very, very beautiful and exciting day because we are going to talk about this Kiara visa. A lot of you have been posting in the groups and like asking about this Kiara, UK Kiara visa, how you can apply, where you can apply, what are the documents that you need because a lot of you are just hearing about this visa. So I brought in someone that is very experienced with this. She has gotten a lot of testimonies from people that have gotten this uh, visa and are now in UK. So you might want to watch to the end of this video because she's going to give us the details, how you can apply the document that you need and the agencies that the government license to employ foreign workers outside uk so any job that they are applying in this agency you know that they are licensed to uh hire you from outside uk and then you can move to uk in less than one month or two months so without wasting much time i'm going to allow our guest to introduce herself and tell us about this visa welcome to our <laughs> channel it's so nice to see you today uh can you introduce yourself hello everybody my name is clara joseph thank you so much for having me here cherry I'm so delighted to be here. Like, honestly, guys, I adore Cherry a lot. Like, she's my mentor, okay? Now, without wasting much time, we're just going to go straight into today's video. So, what is this visa? This visa is basically a particular kind of visa that has been introduced by the UK government as of last year, being February of 2022. And the visa was supposed to last for just a year. That is, it was supposed to last from February 2022 to February of 2023, there has been a lot of speculation about if the visa will be put to an end or if it will be extended. But guess what, guys? The UK government just made an announcement, an official announcement, okay, that this visa is to be extended not just only to 2023, but also over to 2024. Okay, so this is such an amazing news for those that have been applying and have been applying since when this visa was launched, for those that have been following this visa, now this is the time for you to buckle up and continue your application. But for those that are just joining this old visa team that is just hearing about the UK healthcare visa, well, good news is that the UK government has also said that they are now willing to fund overseas applicants and they put it in bold saying that they would be funding overseas applicants with about 15 million pounds okay they will be funding that is they are willing to start helping companies and agencies with fund otherwise called money to assist them bring in foreign workers you know basically this visa is like a free visa in the sense that when you are lucky to get a job offer with a uk licensed employer your employer would be the one to fund all of the expenses for you ranging from your visa fee to your flight fare to even prove a phone, they will be the one to do everything for you. And most UK employers have been saying that, oh, it's, it's, it's kind of difficult to get this money to start funding immigrants, to start funding workers. Now, they went to the UK government to lay their complaint, and the UK government, being so good, took up this case and said they are willing to provide £15 million to start funding applicants okay lucky applicants now guys i know you are excited to hear this good news however there are some things you need to start doing differently this year if you want to be among the lucky few to get this job we all know that this uk health care visa is very competitive it has been competitive since last year and it will continue to be competitive however you could stand a chance of getting this job if you put yourself out there to be how would i say if you put yourself out there to be well qualified in the sense that you don't need to have a degree first to start with to be able to apply for this visa but there are some things you need to do now we'll be starting with you having or looking forward to obtaining some care certificate and you could obtain some care certificate from online okay from the comfort of your home on your phone you can download the certificate attached to your cv and apply for a job i've gotten a lot of testimonies from most of my viewers most of my subscribers most of the people that i've talked to on how to obtain the certificate and once they do so they kind of stand a greater chance amongst other applicants in getting this job now there are a lot of certificates you could use such as the florence academy of e-learning for you Alison, a lot of them for you to attach to your cv and it's not so it's not so difficult you're not paying a dime to get the certificate also i'll be talking about the agency 
now a lot of you will be like, oh, Clara, we've heard about this. We've been applying for jobs, applying for jobs. We're not getting any feedback. We're not getting any positive response from them. Guys, the secret now is you using an agency. And when I'm talking about agency this time around, if you're watching me from Africa, I'm not saying you should go and look for one of your local agencies to use, especially if you're in Nigeria, beware. However, there are some licensed agencies you could use, and you could do so by going to the UK tier two sponsor list, okay? With that, you will start seeing them one after the other. So when you go to this UK tier two sponsor list, you just have to go to where it says social on the icon, okay? Click on that, and you'll see a lot of agencies coming out, okay? Now, these agencies know that a lot of people want to get this job, so they're not putting it out there again for applicants, for we to see that, oh, they're repeating with visa sponsorship. However, if you are wise enough to be patient, guys, to go through their page, you will see it hidden, hidden in a place, saying that, indeed, they are recruiting, okay? You know, formally, last year, they just stated boldly on their, on their website homepage, saying, oh, with visa sponsorship, we're hiring international applicants with visa sponsorship. But now they don't do it anymore, okay? So that is one secret you should do now, this year, if you want to get this job. If you want to get this visa, if you want to get an employer to sponsor you to the UK as a healthcare worker, be it you're coming in as a care assistant, nursing assistant, a nurse doctor, okay? Also, guys, I'm still going to be talking about the eye health. The eye health is very, very important. Most people don't know this. A lot of people know, yes, of course, they should obtain an eye health before they can apply for this visa. But some people just only wait to get the job before going for their eye health, okay? I had like a case. A particular subscriber of mine, she entered into my DM that she got a job offer. Okay, that is, you can get a job offer without the IELTS if you get what I mean, Cherry. But during your visa application, you need that IELTS. But some people only wait to get that job offer before the IELTS, and that kind of put a strain to the application. It put a delay to the application, and a lot of employers are not willing to wait so long for you to start getting your IELTS if you even pass or not before they process the visa. So one game changer you should use this year is that let your IELTS be already done, like already have that certificate prepared one side before you start applying for a job. If you are watching this video, if you haven't even done your IELTS, leave job application first, leave job search first, go and do your IELTS. Once your IELTS is already in place, believe me, once you get a job or once you start applying for a job, at least if you apply for 20, no matter how, when we come back to you and if you be are very lucky you will get that job and immediately you're processing your visa on that three weeks this visa takes just three weeks to be processed okay just three weeks to be processed be it priority or not just three weeks to be processed so in three weeks you would be having your visa if you're even coming in with dependent and dependent could also come along with you now you know family most people come before they bring in their dependent but now the dependent can come along with you at the same time Okay, so once you have your IELTS in place, like I already said, IELTS is very important to be honest. Once you have that in place, then immediately in three weeks, in three weeks, Cherry said one month or two months, but trust me, in three weeks, you can arrive to the UK as a care worker. You can arrive to the UK as a care worker. And if IELTS has been very difficult for you and you have a degree, guess what? You don't need IELTS. You don't need IELTS. That, that is if you went to the university. If you went to the university, be it you're in Africa, India, Asia, as long as you went to the university, you don't need IELTS. However, in replacement of IELTS, you could use your NERIC or what is called ethics. In the sense that you are proving to them that your, your degree was being taught in English, okay? That is, you are giving them like another alternative of, of an English examination, telling them that, oh, you understand English, English prof proficiency and the rest of it, okay? So now I'm still going to be talking about what you could do this time around differently, that will be a game changer to your health and care job application. And this is, would be in your, in sending an email to the employer. Most people only go to the website of this job vacancy or where these vacancies are being posted, they apply. State of an example, a lot of we Africans, we just go to Indeed, we apply, then we sit down, or in a day we apply for 50, we sit down, we'll be wondering why are we not getting any positive response what is happening or oh, are my village people chasing me trust me your village people is not chasing you it's because your know, eye have not been open to the known so guys this time around once you apply on this website say for an instant now indeed brought like a vacancy to you saying oh cherry care home is recruiting overseas applicants it's one thing for you to just apply on that indeed website and fold your hands it's another for you to go to cherry's care home website 
itself. Okay, that is you can go to Google, type in Charity Care Home, look for Charity Care Home link, click on it. Also, scroll through on how you could contact them. Okay, once you see how you could contact them, go to their email, guys. This is where it is hot. Trust me, thousands of applicants have gotten job through marketing, marketing yourself on their email. It's no longer applying on Indeed alone because millions of people are applying on Indeed. You think you're the only one applying on Indeed? No, a lot of people are applying on Indeed, okay? So once you market yourself through that email, you stand 99% chance of getting that job ASAP as soon as possible. You stand a greater chance of getting that job. There's another website that I love so much. The website is called Find a Jobs. Find a Job. And that website is the official UK website, aside with tier two sponsor list, which you could use to get several visa sponsorship jobs under the Earth and Care visa. Trust me, this Earth and Care visa is hot. When I mean hot, even though there are other professions which you could use to come into the UK, even though there are other professions, other companies willing to sponsor you, but they are not so much more than that of the Earth and Care visa. The Earth and Care company are looking for, they are constantly looking for. Even today, I have a lot of messages from different websites, different alerts saying, oh, we are recruiting, we are recruiting, we are recruiting. Because this is what I do, right? So I have to put like an alert with this website to be able to get jobs vacancy immediately. I'm talking about that. One thing that would be a game changer to your job application this year would be creating an alert with all of these websites. A lot of you just go to Indeed again. I'm going to be using Indeed as a reference. When you go to Indeed, you just apply for a job. You don't even know how to use Indeed, okay? You just apply for a job before your hands. What about creating an alert with Indeed? That is, you sign up for their mailing list. You sign up to be amongst the person that will be received emails from them. And with that, you will be the first person to always get job alerts that is being posted on Indeed, especially the visa sponsorship job. So you're going to be creating a mailing list for visa sponsorship job alone. Okay, so with this few explanation, with this few explanation, I would also say that you should take a look into your CV now. I know, yes, most of you must have gone to reconstruct your CV, but what you used last year shouldn't be what you used this year. There should be a little twerk you should put into that your CV now, like some minor, minor changes, especially if you've kind of, should I say, upgraded in your skill. You should put a little changes. And I, I was speaking to a recruiter that was different today, and I was Talking about this whole health care recruitment with our foreigners and the rest, she said, where a lot of people fail is in their CV. Because most recruiters don't have patience. That is the truth. Most recruiters will not sit down. In fact, no recruiter will sit down and carry your CV and read for one full minute. No. No recruiter. Once they glance at your CV, immediately it will tell them if you are the person for the job or not. That is the glance. They blink just a second. Now, your skill should be the number one. Forget this, um, what they call it, or is it objective or overview or something like that. Forget it, if I'm pronouncing it right or, or, or not. Just forget that your skill should be the number one. If possible, self, remove your name. They don't want to know your name, okay? Your skill should be the number one. So, Cherry, I hope I've done justice to this whole system. And guess what, guys? One thing about me, whenever I come here, I try to sprinkle my good luck. Now, I haven't said this. I'm just going to come here to sprinkle my good luck. And this is me wishing every one of you the best of luck. And before I go, I know I'm taking more, much of you guys' time. But before I go, I'm, I'm going to say that, first of all, go to job um, vacancy on any of this website. Look at where they say, I think something like they say, your, is it responsibility or something? Yeah, responsibility. Where the employer will be like, oh, you'll be in charge of taking the and care job for instance, that you'll be in charge of dating, assisting with toiletry and the rest of it, okay? Now, pick up those skills, those roles, attach it to your CV in form of a skill. Formally, we do say, oh, skill, where I listen, pay attention to details, communicate, forget those bullshits, forget it, they don't need it. Pick those things they put on their, on, on the job vacancy, pick, pick those mm -hmm. things and I put it into your own CV. Yes, I know you are educated. I know you are a big girl. I know you're a big woman. You are, you are educated. You want to use all those big grammar. Forget those stuff. Just pick those things. I can assist patients with toiletry, incontinence, and the rest of it. And trust me, you're good to go. Okay? Mm. You're good to go. So, Cherry, over to you now. <laughs> Thank 
thank you thank you thank you so much guys that's a lot of information so if today is your first time to hear about this visa you have heard all the information where you can start how you can start and also i am waiting for your success story so i'm going to keep all the links in the uh, description i will also advise you to go to her channel because this is what she do so she shares information basically and specifically on this area as well as other areas so you can as well get updates on job vacancies so thank you so much clara i really thank really you. appreciate this information thank, thank you. you so much so see you on my next video and hopefully we can do this once again next time <laughs> bye guys i wish you guys good bye, -bye. Luck. bye.